What's up, Transformers? This is Ben here in Hong Kong, and I'm gonna do a, the toy comp between Fans Toys 44 Thomas and the Sunbow Animation cartoon reference model. And here's a look at Thomas in the train mold and in the shuttle mode. But before that, let's take a look at the reference model. And I'm just gonna pay particular close attention to the bot mode and see how this reference model is executed in the tunes as well as the shuttle mode and the train mode down there. So I looked at different animation screenshots of Astro Train just to kind of see what makes Astro Train Astro Train. What are the defining features that he has? Even the color schemes that we see. And after looking at all the pics, let's take a look at Astro Train's reference model and see what makes this an Astro Train that we know and love. First of all, the head sculpt has to be the most discerning point of a character. If the head sculpt and helmet sculpt does not look like what we see in the cartoon, that is, in my opinion, a huge deal breaker. But what about the other points that makes Astro Train Astro Train? Well, you got this big shoulder piece here that has a full train wheels up here. You got wings that is pretty horizontal. I know this reference model is not exactly horizontal, but in many of the animations it is. And the wings contours all the way down to the lower hips. Astro Train has this big squared blocky piece on top of his upper body. And it has this very discerning line down the middle. The torso drawn here is actually quite tall compared to some of the cartoons screenshots that we saw and he has this little red piece wing detail down here. Astro Train also has this circular piece as well as this big old line that goes down from his biceps to his forearms and he has this hand guards right there. His hips is just a squared out piece with these extra squared out details that sticks out. His thighs definitely look shorter than what we see in several of the cartoon screenshots and Astro Train has very ambiguous legs that has a little bit of details up here and a folded up purple piece here with some full train wheels there. So that is what makes Astro Train Astral Train. So let's take a comp between FT Thomas and the cartoon model. Well, let's look at the cartoon accurate sculpts that we see on FT Thomas. First, the head sculpt. I think it looks pretty darn close. Uh, the only thing that I see are that this helmet yellow crest section seems a bit taller than the proportions of his face. In the cartoon, his face proportions are a lot bigger. But in this toy, the helmet seems pretty darn big. We've got the circular details here that is cartoon accurate as well as this line all the way down from the biceps to the forearms that's too accurate the contours down here looks pretty accurate and you got the portions here that is accurate in many of the cartoon episodes as well as the red details here maybe not this little purple lining piece here the hip section here is quite cartoon accurate this tie piece here is quite cartoon accurate depending on which episode you are looking at and the simple legs that he has down here looks quite cartoon accurate and the, he has this little folded purple piece that is quite cartoon accurate. So, how many points of cartoon accuracies do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 cartoon accurate details on FT Thomas. And the inaccuracies that we see on FT Thomas, the big shoulder piece here, the horizontal wing details there, the wings don't come down to the lower hips, this folded big piece here, right? You don't have that little squared out piece that sticks out. The proportions of this detail here is not accurate. Too much of a messy detailed junk over there and then the lack of four wheels. So how many points of inaccuracies do we have? One, two, three, four four, five, six. Six points of inaccuracies. So all in all, the likeliness on this FT Thomas still makes us or convinces us that this is Astro Train. But is there a detail on there that's a deal breaker for you? Please leave them in the comment section down below. Now taking a look at the shuttle and compare it with the reference model as well as actual cartoon shots to discern what is accurate and what is not. Now, depending on which cartoon episodes you watch, you will have Astral Train in the shuttle mode will have this four wheels from the train and sometimes not. But everything else is pretty much cartoon accurate. Let's take a look at Thomas. What is cartoon accurate? Definitely the paint job is quite toon accurate. The nose of the shuttle, the wings over here is almost toon accurate. The little four train wheels is almost at the position of toon accuracy. 
and the big overhanging block piece up here. Now what is not too inaccurate? Well, the way that this folding piece here that covers up the shuttle, this flap piece here that goes up like that is not too inaccurate. The design of the tail fins here is not too inaccurate. The design of the shuttle thrusters, the indentation in the back part of the body. So a little bit more inaccuracies to the tune model. But does this reflect a real shuttle? I'm not a spacecraft freak so I can't say that. Let's look at the train model. And again I compare the reference model to the animations. And so the animations has pretty much drawn to what we see in the reference model. So let's talk about what's accurate in F.T. Thomas. The shape of the front section here with the little sculpted details is too inaccurate. This little head section bar that comes across over there, having four wheels is too inaccurate. The shape of the windows and this little detail here. And for the non-cartoon accuracies, the smokestack here, how long the train cab section really is. There's no vertical piece over here. There's no wheels on the front and the back over there. And the shape of the back section of Thomas right here. And this little extra sculpted piece right there. This entire mix section where you don't see these classical detailed piece over there. You can kind of see here but it's not convincing at all. The extra details on this pack section here too. So the train mode in my opinion is the least cartoon accurate out of all three modes. So what do you think about FT Thomas? It's sold out everywhere. Are there any details in the bot mode that is a deal breaker? What about the shuttle mode? Do you think that it looks like a real shuttle? And the train mode? Does it look realistic to you or are you in for the tune accuracies for the alt modes? Are you going to keep this pre-order even though you know that there's something in there that could be better? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share button and also hit the sub and bell icon for more future videos. Again, this is Ben here in Hong Kong signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.